Hi, my name is Avia Vital. The mandolin is probably one of the most underestimated instruments in the world, but I think it's wonderful. Let me show you why. Well, the mandolin is this little, wonderful, charming, user-friendly instrument evolved from other plug string instruments in Europe in the 18th century. It became very popular also throughout the 20th century as an, kind of an after-work instrument, the instrument you would play with friends after work or would take with you for a trip. This is really something that is special for the mandolin because, I don't know, no one gives an authorization, you can be free, oh, violins, please make them always this shape. Mandolin doesn't matter. And still until today, I think there is a, there is a, a tradition of not keeping any tradition as far as it comes to, um, uh, to, ma to mandolin making, but it, uh, constantly evolving according to the maker's innovation, creativity, uh, or the instrumentalist, the player's demands. <laughs> so this is the opening of R.E.M.'s Losing My Religion. The song came out uh, when I was in primary school. So I think like overnight I became this cool kid who can play the R.E.M. song <laughs> instead of that other kid that plays, you know, Vivaldi and Bach. <laughs> My neighbors from upstairs had a mandolin. And I remember seeing the mandolin, it was on the table, on the sofa, and just plucking on it with my fingers. And sound came out. And uh, it is a very simple thing, but it was very magical to me. This is the, the action of plucking a string, it still brings me back to that, to that very special moment. Even though I'm a mandolin player for that many years and do it professionally, I feel that it still holds secrets in it that I need to reveal. I feel it with every new piece that I play. Sometimes it really, the, my first reaction is like, it's, it's not playable on a mandolin and then, you know, I would sit with it for half an hour and figure out a way to play it and it's like, okay, there's another way to play the mandolin. So I have all these discoveries um, still with the instruments.
living in Italy as an artist was a formative experience because the celebration of beauty is such an innate part of, of your daily life. Now, if Italy is beautiful, Berlin is interesting. And, and it's, it's just a different stimulation to my creativity and to the way I, I, I play or interpret. The mixture of, of uh, people and of cultures uh, that you encounter here, um, in the art world, the music world, but not only, is uh, is just so enriching. The simplest two chords are G major and C major. G major is you put the first finger on the second fret of the second string, and this finger on the first string on the third fret. One string up, and you have a C major chord. And that's it. <laughs> I am on a mission <laughs> to bring the mandolin, you know, in the front stage. I think partly because it suffered of a kind of a, a little bit of a bad reputation or bad connotation throughout the history of music. It's a sweet instrument, extremely capable, not in any way under any of the other instruments that I know. Mm -hmm. 